This is a 2008 Evinrude E Tech 175, and we're gonna change the water pump, which is down here. We're gonna start by taking the engine cover off. We're gonna take off this lower cover. We're gonna use a 5 16 nine bolts for that cover and there's just this wire that that grommet will slide out of that now we're going to remove this lower part and there's a drive shaft that comes up into the engine so we need to tilt it a little bit so we have enough room to slide that drive shaft out there's also this little hose right here that we've already pried off just use a little screwdriver and push that off from there. There's uh, four bolts here, two on each side. I'm using a 9/16 ratchet wrench. And then there's one bolt here. This particular engine, it's a 7/16. 9 9/16 that was underneath the trim cover, trim tab cover. And then the second bolt, which is the last bolt holding the lower unit on. That's a 5 8 head on that. But before I take that all the way out, <coughs> I can see that the lower unit's dropping down. I'm going to unhook the shifting linkage, and that is 3 8 Now, take this last bolt out. This is the water pump. I have this old paddle out of a snow thrower that I'm going to use for some soft jaws on the vise. There. That works pretty good. Now we can work on taking the water pump out. Remove the water pump housing with a 7 16 socket. Let's see if we can unlock the impeller key by turning the shaft. There, it just broke free. Now you can see that's how you unlock the impeller key. Before you remove, the housing bolts. A little worn. It's got some scuffs. Wasn't sure how bad it was. Now, the impeller comes right off. There's that little key we had to unlock by turning the shaft counterclockwise. Remove this O-ring, this plate. And the gasket, it's all new. The plate is, you can feel that it's definitely worn. I'm gonna clean that up. I'll give it a try with the plastic razor blade. It's not sharp. I think it's doing the trick as clean as it's going to get right there. Here is the contents of the new water pump kit. It is uh, part number 5001595 from Evan Rude. 
comes with all these pieces and this kit um, does from the 75 horsepower to 300 horsepower what it does right there in the directions so the kit includes some instructions and all the parts that we need here are old parts um, these tubes right here are not for this application so we won't be using those the first thing you need to do is remove the impeller cup out of this housing they put it in there for shipping purposes but there's an o-ring that goes in between the two this one right here so you have to take this out and put that o-ring in there we're going to apply a drop of adhesive and I just want a very little bit, so I'm just going to do it with this. We want it in the O-ring groove. Put some four spots. Then we're going to put that O-ring in there, make sure it's clean. You don't want to get any of that adhesive in this little air bleed groove. Coat the rim of this, the cup, stainless steel cup with a little bit of adhesive. Then we're going to install this rubber uh, grommet and one side of it is tapered. You can see the wall is thicker here than on this side and there's a little rib inside there. It's tapered on this end so the tube can go in there, the half inch tube. That's going to go right in there. Put a little grease on these threads of the screws and and these uh, some new screws came with the kit apply a little adhesive to the flat side of this new grommet put that on here Lightly coat this cup with some grease and install the impeller with a counterclockwise rotation and make sure there's an opening there to put the so the key can slide in. They, it's down in the cup like this. The other side is blocked off. So you want it like this and with a counterclockwise rotation. Just like that. We're going to apply a little bit of the adhesive in this groove. And we're going to put this new o-ring in and it has a kind of a square corner right here which would go right where that sharp corner is there we're going to put a little of the adhesive on the, on the new gasket both sides and then we're going to place that 
proper way on this plate, oh, which is just like so. Grease the new O-ring. Put the O-ring on. The impeller key in here. Put the O-ring down halfway onto the impeller key. And you'll wanna, we're having a little trouble there because the impeller wasn't lined up with that hole. So shove that over a little bit. There we go. Very important that the key goes up into the impeller. There, right there, went into the impeller. You really want to make sure that that impeller key lines up and goes up in there. Serious damage could result if it is not in the proper place. So we're going to push that down over there and we're going to rotate the drive shaft to engage it, tighten that key in place, and we're going to use the new bolts to hold the housing down. They have a little Loctite on them already. And the correct torque on these is 60 to 84 inch pounds and we have a new grommet here so we turned the shaft counterclockwise to unlock the key again and there's a slight amount of play you want to pull the shaft all the way up and then lock it back in that improves the performance of the water pump by locking the impeller lower on the shaft. Get some grease on those. We're ready to reinstall the, the lower unit. Just going to slide it up in, line up the shift linkage in the drive shaft. Shifting linkage is in place. Just took a little finesse. Oh, we'll just put a little adhesive on the threads. And the seven sixteenths for the tab. We line that back up where it was before. Don't forget to hook up your little hose here if you have one of those. Install the bolt for the shift linkage. The water pumps in. Now we need to just put this covers back on. Get this grommet into this groove, like so. And just make sure the wires are routed properly in there. Line it up with the other half. You don't want to force it. That square rubber, it was catching on the edge of that so we got that all lined up now good done